What's up, Fan Clan? My name is Danny Phantom. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time checking me out, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. If you like what you hear, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Tell everybody about me. I really appreciate it, guys. If you've been here before, uh, if this is your tenth time watching me, thank you so much for coming back. It, it really, ah, uh, it's just so great. Um, you guys are amazing and. I'm, I'm not going to get into all mushy-gushy stuff today because we're going to talk more about shipping. Uh, we talked about shipping yesterday a little bit. Uh, I got some good feedback in the comments from below. And I want to go into things a little bit more in depth as far as actually packing orders. So I gave you guys a good idea of what to look for. I'm sorry that the links didn't work for a lot of them. Uh, it was really late when I was trying to get this video posted and I was trying to get eBay links to convert over and there was just, it was too much, too many characters, even when I shrunk them down to a tiny URL, it just didn't work. Uh, but I did talk about them, you can go in the video if you listen cl closely enough, um, you can just write down what I say and you'll be able to find the, the exact listings that I'm talking about because I give you the prices and the quantities. Uh, so anyways. I want to talk to you a little bit more about shipping tonight and kind of taking it on to a greater scale of things. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is international. So many times I see people shying away from international shipments because, let's face it, you just don't know how to do it. Um, international is really, really easy to ship to. All you have to do is be honest. Overseas, uh, especially in Europe, there's a lot of people who collect this, this game. And the prices over there are absolutely insane. So what we're pay paying for Evolutions right now, they've been paying that for a year. Um, I have shipped so many booster boxes over there and so many singles over there and they want to work with people from the United States just because it helps them get product at a discount, it helps them get product at a better rate and it helps kind of bring their market over there back down to earth because right now it's very, very inflated. Um, so don't be so afraid of shipping overseas. It just takes some getting used to. I definitely don't recommend using USPS to ship overseas. I try and use DHL as much as possible. Uh, it's actually only about $65, $70 to ship a case and you can ship up to four cases overseas for about $135 if you set up a DHL account and get discounts and that brings me to my first point all of your major carriers UPS FedEx DHL set up accounts with them set up business accounts it doesn't cost anything but it immediately gives you discounts usually it's about 10% off the sticker price you print off labels on your own you can digitally file customs information and commercial invoices and then all you have to do is drop it off at the store or you can schedule a pickup for them to come to your house and get it it's super easy it's super quick it only takes about five minutes to create a label and it's it can be very profitable for your business so definitely check out international shipping and definitely sign up for accounts with these because you can save some good money uh, you can also negotiate with sales representatives representatives from these companies to try and get better rates if you tell them how much you expect to be shipping, uh, what your shipping volume is expected to be. They will actually customize your rates, bring them down according to your account number. It's a really, really good idea. It's free. Like I said, it takes a minute to sign up. Definitely take advantage of it because you are going to want to use these options a lot. Uh, anytime you're shipping really bulkier stuff that's not singles, I try to avoid using USPS just because of the reliability of a company like UPS or FedEx or DHL, it's just, it's more reliable. Uh, I enjoy it better. It just, it gives you a better service and you know your package is handled a little bit differently. And that's comfort to me, even though it might cost a dollar or two more. Uh, but then when you start shipping a lot and using those discounts and using that account, like I said, it brings down the volume to the point where it's actually cheaper for me to ship UPS than it is USPS uh, because of the amount of volume that I do with UPS. So it's definitely something to look into. Um, I talked to you yesterday about shipping singles uh, and I got some comments about what I do with as far as sleeving goes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I sleeve all the cards. So if you have somebody who's just ordering ultras like tonight, today I had somebody who ordered just this card here. Just a, This is a Crobat V from Darkness of Blaze. So this is about a $16 card. So first I put it in. You can use a perfect fit if you want. I don't see the need to use multiple, multiple fits. Um, I just put it in the sleeve. And then, yes, I do put it in the actual top loader prior to putting it in the team bag. So I put it in the uh, sleeve and then in the top loader, and then I place it in this team bag. Now, if it's multiple cards, yeah, I do not use multiple team loaders. One is definitely sufficient. Um, I will put five, six cards that are all sleeved in front of this top loader. You're not going to have anything to worry about as far as scratching goes because they're all in sleeves. You're not going to have to worry about bending because they're secured in a top loader. Um, and it just looks very professional. So all you do is you just... The team bag fits perfectly around the top folder, so you don't have to really worry about this card shuffling around too much. Um, 
it fits in there really nicely and then I just slide it in this 4x8 envelope and it's ready to go. I just tape the label on and drop it off uh, at the post office or in a post box, something like that, and it's, it's ready. Like it, it's that simple when it comes to singles. Don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. Honestly, your margins on singles are not big enough that you need to spend a lot of time packing them up, wrapping around top, top loaders and you want it to look professional. Uh, I did have some questions about booster boxes. There are different schools of thought, and I will explain to you my school of thought because I've talked to you about booster boxes before and I know margins are super thin. It really depends on the box. So right here we have an unbroken bonds booster box. So these sell for about $175, they're pretty expensive. And I know the majority of people who order these boxes are going to either A, want to keep them sealed or are a collector of some sort. So to me, I want to be a lot more careful when it comes to packing these up. So. What I do is I take it and I put it in a bubble envelope. So this is one of those 10 and a half by 16 bubble envelopes that I talked about in our previous conversation. This isn't an actual order that I have to pack up. I already packed up all the booster box orders for the night. But I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what I do. So it goes in here and then I kind of just fold it over. So it's nice and snug in here and then tape it down. So it looks like that. And then I take this and I place it in the box. So there are different box options that you have. I personally prefer the tab boxes. So this box size is 11 and a quarter by eight and three quarters by two and three quarters. You can buy these on eBay in a 200 count lot. They're about 15 cents a piece. So it is super, super cost effective to do something like this. I find it to be more cost effective than to do the alternative measure, which you can buy a booster box um, box basically that fits the booster box perfectly. It's like six by five by three or something like that. Uh, but it's about 50 cents per box, whereas this is only 15 cents per box. Um, so what a lot of people will do is they'll put it in that box and then ship it into ship it in a, a bubble uh, bubble mailer. I do it kind of the opposite way, where I put it into the bubble mailer first and then I put that into the box. So you just kind of place it in there. It's the perfect height. You seal it up and it's good to go. So it's nice and protected. These are really sturdy boxes. Um, they're corrugated boxes. These are what I prefer, and at 50, 15 cents a piece, you can't really go wrong with them. So I have hundreds of these. Uh, this is what I use for more collector sets or people who order boxes that are a little bit more expensive. When it comes to set releases, it's a whole different ballgame, and I really try and keep margins low because set release boxes are super, super cheap. Uh, for example, Vivid Voltage, we have that priced at $92. You can go to pkmncoliseum.com and you can place an order for a, a single booster box right now. I can tell you that comes in a double envelope. And the reason I do that is because I know you're opening it. So it's not going to damage uh, anything inside the actual box because you actually have a box that's packed in an envelope that's packed in an envelope. Uh, but I do not go nuts and do this because if I did that, I would have to charge closer to $97 a box and then I'm pricing myself out of the market. Uh, so the best way to do new set releases in my own personal opinion, and I know that this is not the most popular opinion, is I do a bubble uh, bubble envelope around the Vivid Voltage booster box and then I'll put that in a cardboard priority mail flat rate envelope. I have not had any issues. I have not had any complaints. I have literally shipped thousands of booster boxes. People get it. They're happy. Um, I'm sure every once in a while there might be one that has gone missing or has been super damaged, but it would have been damaged regardless whether it was in a box or not. Uh, but for the most part, this, this protects everything pretty well. Uh, I tell people when they order that you can leave notes if you want it sealed, which to me it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to order a set release product to keep sealed, but if you want to keep it sealed, you need to let me know in the notes ahead of time. I will charge you an extra couple dollars for shipping, but if it's something that you want to do, I make my customers aware and I make them well aware that we will definitely do that, but I need to know ahead of time. And that's something that you can do to your customers too. Just be honest with them, be upfront with them. It's really important to be honest when it comes to shipping um, for um, bigger boxes, multiple case boxes. I typically use, uh, it's an 18 by 12 by 12 box. So if you have multiple case orders, which I absolutely love because you shave, save a lot of money on shipping, you can put two cases on an 18 by 12 by 12 and then cut it down. Or you can put four cases in an 18 by 12 by 12 and it fits perfectly. Um, I use just straight edge knives like crazy cutting down boxes. Guys, when it comes to shipping, dimensions are key, especially with these bigger companies like FedEx, UPS, and DHL. Dimensions are everything because it goes more off of the space that it takes up, whereas the post office, you can ship a box that's 18 by 12 by 12, and it really focuses more on weight. These other companies do it a lot more on dimensions, so you want that box to be as compact as possible, and your customers appreciate it when you cut it down because it eliminates the opportunity for these items to be wiggling around in there. So it's also a good idea to make sure that you have a knife handy so you can cut down these boxes. All you do really is line up 
to where the item is. You drag the knife around the side of it and then cut the corners and then fold it over. It's really clean, it's super easy, it looks professional still. Uh, and that's the best way to do it. That is what I have for shipping. I think I covered everything. If I missed anything, please let me know. I know I've gotten a lot of comments about organizing. Organizing is a whole nother ball game. We will get into that in the future. Next week, I wanna to talk to you, hopefully on the video that comes out late Sunday night, it's going to be more about starting your own business as far as capital goes, uh, because a lot of people think that you need a lot of money to invest into this. I can tell you when I started my business, uh, I didn't have any money. Uh, I started my business with like literally five dollars i'm not even joking uh, and i'll explain to you how you can do that so how little timmy can go and he can find that one champions path etb at target for fifty dollars and he can turn that into a very successful company it's all about time and it's all about patience guys thank you so much if you like these videos and want me to continue making them please hit that subscribe button i can't believe how far we have grown it's absolutely insane uh thank you so much until next time peace